Hello guys and welcome to Freebirds View and uh, in today's video I will tell, tell you about some of the most important interview questions of uh, PySpark and uh, SQL. So let's start the video. So before starting the video, please uh, brush up your skills about uh, PySpark and SQL before watching this video because you need, need to know about the window functions and uh, along with the PySpark and SQL syntax. Okay, so let's, let's start it. Okay, so here. First, I just created this simple data set in the PySpark with the uh, name and age columns. And now our first question is how to find the duplicates in a table. And if you are just using a SQL uh, query, you can use the group by functions and get the count of the unique values. If the count is greater than one, then that value is unique. So we use the same logic here and get the uh, count of values greater than one and this is the result the jane and john values are duplicate values as you see in the here john comes two time and jane also comes two time okay okay so next uh, interview question is how to delete the duplicate values in a table so that i use with the help of window functions here okay this similarly when i use the group by here you can also do the same thing by use, using this window functions in the PySpark. So I just first created this window specification that I need to partition by the name and age and also order by the name and age. So I need a name and age should it be unique. Okay. So when I created a row number here over my window specification. So this gives a row number to the each of the unique value. Okay. So if uh, like uh, if I just show you that this John and this John will get a row number of one and two. This Jane and this Jane will get a row number of one and two. And this uh, Joe and Alice will get a row number of one. So I only need the values who don't have any duplicate. So I just filter the whole data set with the help of row number is equal to one. Okay. So then it just drop all the duplicate values and give me the unique values only. Okay. Okay. So let's start with the X question that is difference between union and union all okay so in by spark the union and union all is the same it just removes the duplicate value while combining the two data frames but in sql their meaning is different okay so in sql the union means that you need to combine the two data frames that eliminates the duplicate values if you have any duplicate value in the table that will get uh, dropped if you use the union only okay but if you use the union all then your duplicate values are not uh, removed here okay it will be shown in the data set okay so first let's start with the union function the union function is just simple you just create two data frames create their uh, tables in the as a view and then use the C sql query here union and then you see the result that john jane and doe this is the result. It removes all the duplicate values here. But if you use the union all, then it shows the John Jane two times because Jane coming two two times here. No? So that's why. Okay. Okay. Now our next uh, interview question is dif did, uh, difference between the rank, row number, and dense rank. So the row number actually assigns a number to the each row within a partition. Okay. Within a partition that, that the partition you use to break your data frame or rank it assigns a unique rank to each distinct row within a partition if they if, if there are like two rows which have the same thing then it, it will uh, skip that rank and uh, uh, st start with the next number <coughs> but in the case of tens rank that skip will not happen it will start with the next number only uh, two rows are similar Okay, so as I just give an example here, we have John, Jane, Doe, Alice, this is a kind of a data set we have. And we just order by the score only. So we just need to see if two scores are same, then the row number would be half how, and the rank is same, then how, then doesn't the same as how. Okay, and I do it with the help of PySpark also, and along with the uh, SQL also. Okay, so as with the help of row number, it just gives a number from one to six. But when it comes to rank, it just see that these two numbers are same. So these get to the same rank. But if two numbers are same and the next number is skipped and here the 
two number is skipped and it directly goes to three. Okay, but in the in the uh, dense rank, the next number will not get skipped and it starts from the two only. Okay, okay. So this this is the actual difference between the uh, row number, rank, and dense rank. Okay. Our next interview question is how how to find the record which are present in one table but not in the another table. Okay, as we already created these two uh, tables above, table one and table two, we just need to know which record is in this table but which uh, or not present in this table. So as you know that John is the record which is in the table number one but not in table number two. It it can be done by using the two methods. The first is not not exist and second is the left join. So with the help of not exist, you just do this. Check star from table one where not not exist in table two where id is equal to this. So it will just get ahead the data from the table one which is not in the table two. Okay. By using the left join, we will see see that uh, select table one from table two and do the left join and where we see that the table two id is null because that id is not present in the table two. So that's why it is null. So when you apply this kind of a query and you will get get the a record which is in the one table but not in the second table okay okay so now our next interview question is find the second highest salary employees in each department so we need to get the second highest uh, salary so that is the kind of thing we just create a simple uh, dummy data set here and do the make the temporary table and then just uh, start with the partition by here by using the window function we just use a row number and partition by the department and then order by the salary so we'll get the salary of the every department which is highest so we'll get the row number is equal to two because we get the second second highest only okay so it will give us this a uh, kind of a uh, result okay so in this way you can get the second highest salary of each department okay so in the next thing is you can the find the employee salary whose salary is more than their man manager's salary okay that is a kind of a very controversial question but uh, you can see that uh, by using this that select employee id employee name e salary and manager and we are doing the self join we are doing the self join with this own table on the employee data and the mm, on the employee id and the manager id and get that if employee salary is greater than manager salary okay and then our next uh, interview question is difference between the inner join and the left join the inner join actually means that when you join the two tables, it only select the matching records between both the tables and exclude all the other records. But in the left join, your all the rows of your left table are kept same, but only the matching rows of the right table will be uh, get along. Okay, as you can see this, I just created this uh, dummy data here and make the temporary view. And when I use the inner inner join, it only select the uh, uh, the data which is same that is id12 and department H hr only from this table but if i just do the left join then it can get the id12 as well but all other values are null because it get the all the data of the left table as well but right table only the matching values okay now you need to cal calculate the average salary of each department that is the next interview question so to calculate the average salary you just do uh, use the aggregation function here that is average salary and group by the department that that's how you can calculate the average cell this is the like most asked interview question uh, ever and then you can highest salary of each department just need to set here row, row number is equal to one it is same as the above query that we already do uh, here we get the sec second highest and here, here you get the uh, the first highest okay so that's how you to the these kind of uh, most asked interview questions and if if you need more co questions about PySpark, SQL, data science, machine learning, you can pin pin down in my section as well and I will make the videos and also share the resources with you. You can also see my blogs on the Medium and also the other YouTube videos for the most asked interview questions along with the uh, other te technical concepts about uh, generative AI, large language yeah. models and prompt engineering. Thank guys, thank you so much. We'll meet in our next video with next topic.